Hey guys, um, I tried to do this video earlier and it got um, interrupted. So um, I wanted to share some good news with you. I wanted to brag on Jesus a little bit, on our Abba Father. A little testimony. So my son, he's 14 years old and his tooth had been hurting him bad and um at this point uh even to the point of tears and i switched tylenol and um pain reliever medication tylenol and uh ibuprofen and other two things to help him with pain and nothing to the adult it was just just pain for him to like I said, he was crying and crying. So I told the Lord, I was like, Lord, I kept telling my son, just calm down. I said, you know what? Jesus has you. Don't worry about it, babe. Jesus has you. So I started to pray for him. I asked the Lord to cover him, to be a wall of fire protecting him, to shield him, to comfort him during this time of pain, to ease the pain that whatever that is necessary to at least give him some type of comfort or um, ease because the pain just wasn't going away. As I said, there is no medication. There was medication I was giving him. Inter, um, I was uh, Tylenol, and then it was ibuprofen, and then also like Orgel, um, ice packs, everything that I can possibly think of to help with this tooth. And it had been the second day, so we made a, doc a dentist appointment that the next day. And this day. Um, it was already very late at night, so I started to pray over my son. I covered him with the blood of Jesus. He laid next to me. He laid next to me, and um, there was just no comforting him at all, and I felt so bad. And I know the parents out there know when their kids or their loved ones are in so much pain, There's you want to help them right then and there. You want to take the pain. You want to do something for them right then and there, but there was there's nothing, absolutely nothing that I could do to take that pain away from him during that moment, and I felt so bad. And it's like, you know what? No. I said no and I covered him with the blood of Jesus and I prayed over him and as he was crying he was laying there I placed my hand on his chest and I started to pray for him and I told the Lord to comfort him give him the peace that he needs in his heart allow him to feel the Lord's arms wrapped around him to feel at ease and to feel at peace and to be comforted to take the pain away from him and my son stopped crying he just laid there and he started looking up at the ceiling and he was calm. He calmed down a lot because he was like crying and to the point where he just, you know, when you got, you get that, <laughs> the cry like that, that's the way he was crying. And um, so he stopped and he was staring up at the ceiling and just listened to me pray. And then I was reading the Bible to him. I was reading verses to him. And then I put uh, praise and worship music, music on real low just to give him, um, just to calm him, to give him the peace and allow the Holy Spirit just to work, to work in him and to move in the house and to move in him. And he just laid there at peace as I was praying for him. And then he fell asleep. He didn't wake up the rest of the night. And I, and I praise the Lord because God is the only one that could do this. The Lord Jesus, he's our healer. He's the only one that is able to, the medications don't do anything, obviously, because he was still in pain. Nothing that we did for him on our own, our own human efforts without the Lord will always fail. And that right there showed it and was proof. The Lord, I prayed and I had faith in God knowing that he was and he did do that what he said he was going to do. He said he's a healer and he healed and he gave him comfort and he gave him peace. So I'm here to tell you guys, prayer, the Lord hears prayers and prayer is mighty. The Lord hears your prayers. So let me go to the next day. So the next day, my husband took my son to the dentist and um, they gave him x-rays and they checked out his tooth and they um, opened up his tooth because they needed to do a root canal. That's how bad it was. And my husband asked them, was there anything at all that my that we could have done on our part to help my son to relieve the pain? And he said, no, not at all. There's no creams, no medications that you could have done to help ease this pain. Um, he said, this tooth is very angry. It's very, it was very, um, it was infected. It was very angry, he said. And he was like, there was nothing that you could have done on your part to help him 
ease the pain. And so the night before, it was all God. It was all it was all God. He's the one that did it. He's the one that eased my son's pain when he needed it. Not the medications. The medications didn't do anything for him. The Lord gave him the peace that he needed during the time that he needed it. He gave him the comfort that he needed. And he's, he allowed him to feel his loving arms wrapped around him when he needed it. Not anybody else. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. His own mom, I couldn't do it. His dad, not the medications, and nobody else could have done it but the Lord. And I wanted to give a praise. I wanted to give the Lord praise, and I wanted y'all to hear this because the Lord hears prayers. Even when you feel hopeless, even when it feels like nobody else is hearing you and you feel like, like you're by yourself, go to the Lord, pray, seek the Lord because he hears your prayer. Even when it doesn't seem like he is listening to you, he's working. He's working. There's he. Our minds are not the like the Lord's minds. We don't have the same mind, and we don't. We see people, even us. We see people on the outside. We see their appearances, and we and we judge by the appearances, and we shouldn't be doing that. It's the heart that the Lord looks at. It's the heart, and we need to remember that it's the fruit. And when the Lord says to judge by the fruit, it's not the fruit like. It's the fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, kindness, gentleness, meekness, self-control. That is the fruit that the Lord says that we will know them by their fruit. I went off a little bit. I'm sorry. But I just wanted to give y'all that little praise report because the Lord has been blessing us. And that is not the only time. The Lord blesses us every single day. You need to remember, not just me, but everybody. You wake up in the morning, praise the Lord because he gave you breath that very morning. You're able to see, you're able to hear, you have your health, you have every limb in your body, you have every organ in your body, you are able to walk, you have a job, you have a car. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord because he's blessed you with that. You, We have nothing on our own. We have nothing on our own. We do nothing. We can do nothing without the Lord. He is the one that blesses us. He's the one that, that gives us what we need on a daily basis. He knows what we need, when we need it, and how we need it. So give the Lord glory. Don't ever say that I don't hear from the Lord. I don't see the Lord. I don't, he doesn't bless me. Yes, he does. You're alive. You're awake. You have breath. You have food to eat. You have clean water to drink. You got clothes on your back. You have a roof over your head. You have your, your finances taken care of. And if you don't, the Lord is still blessing you. The Lord is still blessing you. Maybe he needs, maybe we need to be put through a little refining during that time to strengthen our faith, but the Lord is blessing you. Don't ever feel like the Lord is not blessing you. Don't ever feel like he is not there for you because he is you're breathing and you're alive and you're alive for a purpose whatever that purpose is ask the lord what is the purpose for you to be there to what is your job he will tell you just seek him seek the lord seek intimacy with the lord and that was my whole thing with the last video i believe for everybody if anybody's ever wondering yes i believe in jesus christ just like the thief on the cross right away he acknowledged that he was wrong the, the thief on the cross was wrong. The way that he was living, him and the other thief were wrong. The way that they were living, that they needed a savior. They couldn't save themselves. They needed a savior. Jesus Christ was that savior and they knew it. They knew it. And so after they recognized that they were wrong, they acknowledged, they repented and the Lord blessed them. They blessed them with eternal life. And it's the same thing for us. Jesus Christ, God in flesh came down to save us of our sins. Jesus Christ, God, he was sinless and he took on all of our sin for us, all of our sin for us. Him who knew no sin became sin for us, hung on the cross, became a curse for us. Believe in the name of Jesus and you will be saved. Believe in the name of Jesus and you will be saved. Everybody says that you have to obey. Yes, you do have to obey. The Lord says, if you obey my commands... If you obey my commands, those are the ones that love me. And how do you obey the Lord's commands? By believing in him and loving our brothers and sisters. All the law is summed up in one, and that's by love. So I love you guys, and I pray that we continue to not judge one another at the outer appearance. It's the heart that the, the heart 
is what the Lord looks at, the heart. It's the heart the Lord looks at. The Lord loves us. It's how we treat people. It's if we love people, are we there in the time of need? Are we loving the Lord by serving him? Are we believing in the name of Jesus? That's what he looks at. But again, guys, I love you. I love you and I pray if there's anything that you need, if there's any anything, any questions that you have, feel free to ask me. Um, I like to uh, study. So when I sent that word, yet the, the video the other day, it's, I love to study. I, I love to research things. So even the, like with medications and everything, like I'm a researcher, I research every single thing. So it's so easy for me to go in the Bible because I love reading the God's word. And so it's easy for me to study the Bible. And I'm always seeing, and the Lord is always giving me these revelations. So I'm like, oh, wow, like that's amazing. Let me go tell somebody. So I tell my husband and my children is like, I still have to feel like, I still feel like I need to tell people, like other people, more people. So then when I put a video out, and then I get scrutinized for it but you know what it's okay it's maybe the word that I gave out was not meant for babes maybe the word I gave out is not meant for you or for anybody in particular maybe it was just for me but it was just uh it was amazing it's amazing when I find these little nuggets when the Lord says hey this is what it means hey this is what it means and but I just wanted to share that with y'all. I love you guys. I pray, I pray that y'all have a blessed uh, day or night, wherever that you may be. And um, may the Lord continue to bless you and your family everywhere that you may be and go, your animals, your loved ones. In the mighty name of Jesus, good night.